Hello, beautiful manifestors. It is Olivia Grace, and I'm back with another video for you guys. And today I'm talking about a Neville story that I really have never heard. I literally read a lot of his books and listen to a lot of his lectures. Um, but I was listening to this one lecture, and it was in his own voice. That's how I can verify that it's valid. Um, and he was talking about how he actually became kind of obsessed with the Bible. And he was in Barbados as a kid in school. And he says that in his school, the teacher was allowed to um, spank them, basically. And so he was reciting, he was learning like a Bible verse or something and reciting it to the teacher. And he literally mixed up one word. I can't remember the exact Bible verse, but it was something like, come, come up off of this couch and come to the door or something like that. Or come up off of this bed and come to the door. It was something like that. But literally Neville said that it was come up off the couch and the teacher was saying it was come up off the bed. It was something, don't quote me directly on that, but it was literally something that small. And the teacher told Neville, you're wrong. You know, it's come up off of the bed, not the couch. And Neville was like, well, this is what my Bible says. But as many of you probably know, if you are into Neville, that he had like 12 brothers and sisters or something like that. So he didn't have his Bible with him. He, his brother had the Bible with him that day. Um, so he wasn't able to prove what he was saying was true. And so his teacher took it upon himself to beat him and actually spank Neville so bad that he was bleeding. Um, and Neville went home and um, his brother ended up telling his dad and, um, you know, the teacher ended up, I think they just tried to, they didn't get the teacher fired um, because he was allowed to do that, but um, he ended up getting arrested some years later. But Neville says that he took that experience of mixing up one word and receiving that horrendous beating from that. And that is what actually got him into reading the Bible so carefully and being so just invested and kind of obsessed with the Bible and what exactly does it say. And as most of you guys know, Neville is one of his the big part of his teaching is the Bible and interpreting the Bible. Um, but it was crazy to me to see how an experience like that, that is so horrendous and so horrific, is what actually led him into his obsession with the Bible, which led him to being the great teacher that he is now, that we know. Um, because... I mean, had that not happened, would he have been that obsessed with the Bible? Um, he's the only, no, there's a couple of other teachers that interpret the Bible like that, but he's pretty much like the, the master of that. He really started all of that, and it started from that incident. Um, so sometimes we have things that happen to us in our lives or in our childhoods that make us feel held back or that make us feel like we can't achieve something or we can't accomplish something. Um, but you can either use it as something that can hinder you or you can use it as something to propel you. Um, and it can be something that propels you. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I personally never heard it. Um, but it's so crazy how our trauma, our childhood trauma leads us to be who we are today. So it's up to us. Are we going to let our childhood trauma make us a bad person or make us a sad person? Or are we going to let that uplift us and help us to uplift others? Um, so the choice is always yours. And I love you guys. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.